Do you ever wonder what's in your food or where it came from? Yes. Well, Fast Food Nation answers all of your questions. Carl Karcher is one of the fast food industry's pioneers. In 1945, Carl opened his very own restaurant called Carl's Drive-In Barbecue. He brought drive-in and fast food to Southern California. In 1940, Richard and Matt McDonald opened the first McDonald's. McDonald's quickly became a nationwide phenomenon. In 1948, they changed the way fast food service was managed, with larger grills, a shortened menu that sold mainly burgers, and the first order for yourself system. During their first years of business, Richard and Mac figured out who their prime target was for advertising. They realized that kids are the easiest and most profitable targets. About half a century after their grand opening, McDonald's biggest objective was global realization. Their goal was to put a McDonald's in every continent. Nowadays, there is McDonald's in every 120 different countries. Meatpacking is one of the most dangerous jobs in America. Hazards include injuries from machines and knives, poor working conditions, and even methamphetamine use. Before the rise of large meatpacking plants and FDA restrictions, people would become sick from the meat. In 1997, Hudson Foods, a large supplier of meat, recalled 35 million pounds of beef, of which 25 million was consumed. The cause of the recall was traces of E. coli. Ever since, fast food chains have forced their suppliers to test their food. Today, more than half of all American adults and one quarter of children are either obese or overweight. 280,000 deaths a year are related to weight each year. Most people blame the weight issues of Americans on the increase in popularity of fast food, probably because just one double quarter pounder is 710 calories, or the fact that restaurants sell about 70% of all bacon consumed. Fast Food Nation has taught me a lot about the dangers of fast food. I think it's important to educate the youth of America to watch their diet.